Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video I am just sharing you what I learned today which is regarding HTML. So here guys there are three links over here page 1, page 2 and page 3 and if I go here in this dashboard.blade.php these are the links that are being displayed over here. Now if I click here it will show me the page 1 similarly if I click here it will show me the page 2 and if I click here it will show me the page 3 and it will show them in the same page. Now let's say here if I add here target equals to underscore blank so I think all of you guys know this but I'll show you another one so whenever I write here target is equals to underscore blank this is the resolved word in the HTML this underscore blank and now if I just refresh it here and if I click on here page one look at here it is showing in the next tab so it is obvious everyone knows this okay now if I again click on here then it will again show me in the next tab and again if I click here it will again show me in the next tab so it will open three tabs so the page one I already closed so it's not showing here so it will show all of them in the separate tab now let's say if I change this underscore blank to blank okay and here also I'll change it to blank so this one is underscore blank and this is only blank now guys if I come here and refresh now if I click on the page one okay it is opening in the next tab okay and if I click here in the page two then also it will open in the next tab so you you will see here guys this page two okay now if I click here in the page three what happens okay look here so now you can see here guys it is just replacing that page two it is not opening a new tab but it is replacing the tab where the page two was open and it is opening page three over there which means that if we give target the same name so it can be blank or any other word so let's say here documentation so let's say we have a documentation link in our website and whenever a user clicks on that documentation we only want to open one tab in the user's browser so i'm just making this example guys i don't know the real use case of this but if you know then let me know in the comment section below so it can be any name okay if they have the same name then whenever we click on a link either this link or this link it will always open a single tab and if previous tab was open and we click on the next link which has the same target then it will just replace the old tab so here guys i am just changing the name as documentation okay so previously it was target now i am changing the name into documentation now if i come here guys and open this page 2 and again come here and again open this page 3 now you can share guys it is only opening a new tab so you can give any name over here and it will only open in a new tab. So that's what I learned today guys. So I just wanted to share you what I have learned. And if you know the use case of this, then please let me know in the comment section below. So it's always exciting to know new thing about whatever you are working for many years. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.